I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? Yeah, something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where Tidior's heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The line quote really supports my delicate tip. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! Got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. If you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we... Talk about something we definitely won't see. Got it. Fucko! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of Tyrior troops. How do you know that? Look a tracker into your clothes in case Why I ever he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? <gasps> hey, friend Anu, we gotta stay quiet! Ay, Dios. How have you lived this long? TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. We'll just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody swats us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. I don't love unnecessary violence, but it does seem like Fran knows what she's doing. Yeah, of course. Totally understand. All right. Get behind me, and stay light on your feet, in case you gotta dodge any people juice. Ah! Okay. This is... okay. This... okay.
Wherever they're going, we'd better follow. Oh, crap. Won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. So weird. Guy in a box. No! Oh. Wait, wait, wait! Just let me... Uh, I'm not who you're looking for. I disagree. Is... is that a... No! It couldn't be! Not worth much in the market, but to a true vault lander connoisseur. My vault lander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vault landers must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna fight? Indeed I do. Will versus will. Vault lander to vault lander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident. As is the warrior's code. But if I win, your vault lander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come back! Select your ball lander. Amara. Amara versus Zane. Vaultlanders! Fight! Ho ho! <laughs> combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're, uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go.
Try it. Come on. Do it, do it, do it! Cram it in there! Negative. Not the vault entrance. Well, it's worth a shot. Three TDR soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Vaults tend to be guarded by big, angry alien things. If one shows up, do you want to be the one holding the vault key? If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer? We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. No. Let's go. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! <laughs> More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we are done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. 
Might be worth Octavio's. We've come this far. We can't just leave. Are you aware of the sunk cost fallacy? Yes, Anu. I've sunk a fallacy before. Uh... We're safer here than out there. Or back in the sewers. In fact, this is the safest we've been in hours. The only way out is through. Kid's got a point. Wait. <gasps> I got it. What's good, Ock? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Should. You got a musk. Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches. They're tunnelers. They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet rat Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes. That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? I wouldn't. Not. I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Ah. Uh... It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. All right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. And should be here. Fran! <gasps> oh! Miss me? It's... No! Anyway, look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now?
It's quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound eating device or something? Can you hear me? Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Friendly reminder, more of those alien robot bastards could portal in here at any moment, but hey, take your time. No pressure. Come on, sis. I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? You know what? Don't overthink it, Annie. Now, what else can I find? Juniper thinks you're doing a great job, by the way. <laughs> thing looks like my Auntie Beth. Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys! I think we hit the jackpot! We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure! <laughs> Garbage shower? Ah, damn the brakes. Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them. I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? 
There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavia sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit! are frozen, the frozenest frogerts around. You're right, I do feel better. Is that really how you want to go? In the belly of a bald monster? There are worse ways. You really want to die before you can make tea to your pain. You die now, you die a loser. You hear me? A poor, unconventionally attractive loser. <laughs> I win! <laughs> Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy! 
I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. If anybody gets to poke this thing, it ought to be me. Ha! <coughs> it's dead. Good God. What in the what? Thingy it's got in its tongue. I don't think it's in its tongue. I think he's cradling it with its tongue, sort of protecting it. I mean, I respect it. That's some next level's tongue work. That's gross. And besides the point, I think it's healing him. We need to get it out of that monster's mouth. I... I have a plan. Phew, I was worried we were all gonna die. Now we're gonna die with a plan. Nice. So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. And the big plan is... <gasps> you want me to see if I can romance it, right? Octavio, you need to distract the monster for Fran. My Octavio sense is telling me that's super dangerous. It is. Fran needs to get a clean shot of that tongue with her freeze ray. When it's frozen, you knock the shot loose with your signature Fran Punchy Punch. You have suspiciously little to do with this plan. You one of those idea women? I'll be prepping my Iridium device for a Mega Blast. When the shard is free, I'll send the rest of the monster on a nice little vacation far, far away. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling, he realizes. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! No rest for the wicked. No, I can do better. No rest for the wicked. No. No rest. Fuck TV! Right! Just give me time to get into position and then hide like your life depends on it. That means you and me, we gotta get moving! Where's friend? In position. 
Great. Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it. That thing nearly ate me alive. Yes, great. Now I need you to get almost eaten again. <sighs> kind of scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go! <sighs> hey, ugly! Looking for me? <laughs> I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. trouble. You mind bringing the monster just a little bit closer so I can get a better shot? How are you so calm right now? 22 years of customer service. Great! How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? <sighs> oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Fuzzy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you... <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Sure, they get to cheerlead while I run for my life! <laughs> Just one more lap, Octavio. Don't get scared now! What are we doing? That's right, keep running! One vault monster coming up! Almost there. Just a few more adjustments. your trip into the unknown. Happy trails. That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it saving our lives. Still, 
That was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, we gotta get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. Right? That was... So we're like Vault Hunters now! We're a triple-digit body count short of being actual Vault Hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to... defeat a space god! Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint! I think this crystal is the Vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know, just... When I touched it, I... saw something. It felt something. Like something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something. Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get rich and famous! Kick Susan Caldwell's ass! Oh, right. Tidior, uh, they'll be looking for this. For us! Sure. But that means we get all the leverage. Good. Saves me the trouble of looking for them. Fran, they have an army. And I have a temper to keep in check. Meaning? Meaning when I kill Susan Coldwell, I'll do it awful politely. Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Voltlander warrior would never break a bond forge in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god. I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Hey. We found something. Hmm. Ooh. 
What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and the man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the Tidior Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Oh! Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Coldwell's brain stem? No? That's why I'm upset! Are we at any point going to talk about how you also murdered a bunch of Tidior guards? <laughs> Forgot about that. Silver linings. You are back. Based on your heart rates and serotonin levels, I've concluded that team morale is lukewarm. Not bad, not great. Plus one half skateboard. Which half? The bad half. Ah! Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavio. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. I respect it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh... I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing? Wait, nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just... Tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... What? We can't run experiments on this thing? And what exactly are you testing by tossing it in the air? Duh. Aerodynamics. I thought you were the scientist. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh my god! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away as per usual. Just be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. That's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop! Ah! 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 That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It... It, it healed you just like it healed that creature. So, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. 
We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Hawk, what are you doing? Being the man! What? Don't be stupid! No! No! I'm not the man! I'm not the man! That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests! When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's working! It's working! <laughs> I've learned nothing! Oh man! The pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn! Okay, that's great, but now, shoot me. What? Don't! I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <gasps> Metal! <laughs> this rules! Do me again! Do not! Do not, do not, do not, do not! Please, don't. I don't know how many ways I can say stop doing this. Just stop doing this! Now we're talking. Oh. Go on, take on that, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you've got to try this thing. I don't... Uh, Come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you going to test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the shouting makes me nervous and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little! I... Okay! This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but uh, we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud, Anu. <clears throat> I guess for the sake of science. Oh no! What did you do? You said to shoot somebody! Not in the neck! Not cool, Anu. You okay? Kichi. <laughs> okay. Let's try and put all that behind us and focus on the path forward. Because I may have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Guns. Guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long-range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long-range? What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long-range globe. 
Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... This element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. Uh, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. We brainstormed it together. A sibling mind meld. Oh, okay. I love sharing credit. Ah, it's completely fried. All right, if we're going to get anywhere with this idea. My idea. I'm going to need to fix my. Our. Device. Your gun is broken? My device needs some minor repairs. I I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this froyo garbage. <gasps> Your. Froyo garbage. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froga chomp. Well, it's nice to see you be the best at something that isn't illegal, little brother. Best employee. He was the only employee. Oh. Huh.
Well, it won't be playing any of Prometheus' hottest hits anytime soon. Not that I ever wanted to hear the psycho shuffle again. Ugh. That scrap you're talking about is my Froyo machine. And did it always look like this? Listen here, Judgy. She may have needed some encouragement from time to time, but she never let me down. Is there anything you can't add marketing to these days? Pressure sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Fran? Fran, why is there a woman frozen in your storeroom? Well, I think that'd be obvious based on the state of Hank. On the state of ha Hank? Careful, don't slip, dear. There are any working fuses in here. I can use one to help regulate current. Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction, the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks. Refrigerators are full of usable material. <gasps> and me! I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. No, no. I craved a rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. Uh, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in our fridge? It is for air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to Vaultlanders. Game of Kings. The true battle of brain. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Select your ball lander. No! 
now Toasty! Super Bowl Combo! R.I.P. K.O. You won! Victory is yours. Yes, it is. You thought with great skill. Are you truly a novice? Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Vault Landers by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy? Bravado and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. One good fuse is all I need. Uh, so long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. Based on my analysis, this machine is, well, how to put it, demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine, and it's you who will be out of commission. Capish? Yes, got it. Capish you loud and clear. Nothing useful here. Hey! I meant... Never mind. Is there a map hidden on the... Nope. Alrighty, then. <laughs> Thank you.
Fran, is there a reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah. It's for my only friends. Only friends? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> Yes! Got it! Oh! Uh, sorry. Uh, the camera was offline, and the shop as well. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could use the lens and the device. Ta-da! Now, for the finishing touch. Didn't, but it should have. I, I, I don't. Should it do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments. That's all. <clears throat> oh. didn't detonate in my face. Beautiful. Now, to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again. We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again. For the good of science. It needs to be me. It's my device and it's... To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But... Ew, Anu, ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like, awesome. This, however, is just... Unsettling. All right, fine. Now... Someone has to do the honors. It's fine. I didn't want to be included anyway. How about it, little brother? For science? For science. All right. Here goes... Everything. Here goes everything. For real, Anu. This thing's. Ah! Ah! Cool. It worked. I knew it would work. Of course it worked! We are gonna be so freaking rich! Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize... That this could change everything? That it won't be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! But more importantly, that we'll be drowning in... <laughs> I... don't... And? What do you mean, and? Money won't solve our problems. Oh, money would solve the majority of my problems. Hard same. Oh, money can't solve what's wrong with you, babe. All right. So we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. 
Counterpoint? What better way to test the Shar than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy guns. These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. I... Oh, 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 okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing. Just hypothetically. Louie, do you have any high-value targets we could take out? Take out? I'm an assassination bot, not a take-out bot. In any case, in order to raise the funds required for your business venture, we would need to take out a target with the relative galactic importance of... calculating... the sun. So, is there anyone like that, or...? There is no one like that. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echocast where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. Probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right. Sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. <sighs> Deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Hi. Hello. How are you? So, so. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, if I may take a moment of your time, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary, so exciting. I'm listening. That it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, sounds just like me. I proudly present to you the perfect product. Product. So if you don't mind, I'd like to go into further detail and give you some more information. Yes, because we really want you to feel comfortable with all your product-related decisions. Now, do you like being the talk of the town? Let's say you get excited about great value. Oh boy, do I have exciting news for you. Stand by, because I'm about to tell you the secret to unlocking a lifetime of satisfaction. It's perfect for you. Perfect for your family. It's perfect for your friends. The perfect product. The perfect product. It's made for me. The perfect product. Gotta have it. Really need it. Have fun with it. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoos. Move your tush. <clears throat> I'm the new guard, and I'm relieving you. Right now. Who hired you? Uh, 
Jim, Jiminy, Jimerson. Jim, Jiminy, Jimerson. Well, he knows I need these hours. You're not winning this one, Jim, Jiminy, Jimerson. I'm not playing your game. I'm standing right here. Listen, kid, you're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, Lou? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here, in Marvin Baxter's stead. If only to uphold his legacy, and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers! <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces! This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pear Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to like waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it. You, nervous girl. I'm your dry rub. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, you can see it. But that's it. Otherwise, you'll learn about our project along with the judges. Oh, wow, so you don't actually have a pitch. That's, ooh, that's embarrassing. What? Oh, nothing, it's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition, and, uh, update, I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face too, just to make sure he got the message. I hate showbiz. You're forced to deal with weirdos and egomaniacs. Oh, I'm sure it's way better working for giant corporate weapons manufacturers. You know what they say. People who manufacture weapons were too ugly for showbiz. Huh? I, no one says that. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. 
the most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending jerk was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Oh yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that frog TV swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm oh god. No one ever pays attention to what you say in these things. It's how you say it. And everyone knows the best way to win an argument is to be louder than the other person. I don't think that's true. No, I'm certain I'm right. You're just being loud. That doesn't make you right. Oh, I'm right. How else could I be this loud? Okay, that's circular logic. I can't hear you over how right I am. Pitch and public speaking aside. All that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But does it need more style? Is our device just, just quaint? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> I like it. It looks Spartan, utilitarian. I do too. But I'm starting to think that won't be enough for a bunch of buzz-hungry, image-obsessed game show investors. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more. Octavio, what do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine, you're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. Oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? 
healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I am about to lose control of myself, and I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. It's all gonna be okay. Fran and I took care of it because we're supportive colleagues working towards shared success. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palangine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar, and this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. That's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. I don't like him. Too handsome? That's why I don't like you. Him, I just don't trust the guy. I'd be careful, girl. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I've been sabotaged. Sabotage. That's. Horrible! Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. <laughs> oh look! More cool stuff on TV! Why do I feel like you're trying to distract me? <laughs> distract you? Why would I distract you when there's such excellent development on this program that we should watch right now? Mon chéri gonna get dunked. Here, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch... It's a ball! No, I swear it does more! So much more! Somebody said tampered with the algorithm! I've been cheated! Swindled! Uh, Horn swoggled! And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. 
And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, I know you should tell him that. Yeah, like why not something with sink or swim in it, like like float and, and dunk? <laughs> What's that even? We just watched a man get eaten alive. And so the wheel of life turns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. I knew that some bitch had some up a sleeve. Didn't know it'd be sharks. Oh my god. If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anorata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavia! You're gonna be fine, just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here! Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar! Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? Forget everything you know about conflict resolution. Because today, you will see something that completely disrupts the weapons manufacturing industry. I'm shifting the paradigm to... Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look. We're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So you were saying something about disrupting a ministry? That's not exactly what I- Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Always be louder. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present.
The Hippocratic Matic. Right. Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. I appealed to the company's heart, hoping compassion would win the day. But it did not. No, it did not. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake at least. It's science and magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic. Smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous and really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelment. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly! Uh, finally! Someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? <gasps> He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, She ripped the thing right off! An 
eat it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's so, so, so much blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. She's coming back up! I'm okay! I'm okay! Thanks. Have been lifting. <sighs> oh. Anu? I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this! I loved your pitch. I... You... Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang-up job. Yeah, it felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm going to do mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up! Stay with us! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's no use! She said something else! Something else! I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out. It's working. Oh, thank you, magical healing gun. Device. Hot oh, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth to mouth? Harmonic vibration seeking resonance! So that's a no then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh yeah, sure, let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel inspector! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Win! Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. We did it! We did it sick! We did it!
did not sink. We swam. I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly. Classic blood loss. I'm not so sure. It, it felt... Who cares? We got our money. Cash paper. My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you. Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were gonna die, but... I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this, uh... vulnerable. <laughs> it feels... off-brand. That's incredibly sweet of you. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, I'm not sure where this is coming from. It feels like there's a jabber clawing at the inside of my chest. Feelings. They're called feelings. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Whoa. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg, it saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Thanks again for fighting those sharks. No problem. I eat raging sharks for breakfast. Cool, cool. Quick refocus here, ladies. Women! People. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Who is the angel investor? Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's gotta be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half, we accept. We accept. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Go! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. You bet your metal butt we did. <laughs> After P <laughs> After Pierre's ball dropped. Through no fault of my own. Right. After that, we really wowed them with a dazzling impromptu demonstration. And secured funding from an anonymous donor who, I am confident, sees our device's potential to change lives for the better. Yeah, exactly. But also, we're rich, Lou! I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. Plus 500 skateboards for us. That's not how the system works. There is a complicated calculus involved in your skateboard metric, Francine. And, judging by your expressions and the overall, quote, vibe, unquote, I measure your team morale score in skateboards as... Eh. You have indeed secured funding, but there is room for improvement. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals 
and as a team, fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Though perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, I shall maintain my current degree of hope. Look, this is a harsh world. Sometimes people gotta die so you don't. Sometimes it feels good doesn't make you a bad person. It never feels good for me. It feels good for you. Okay, judgy. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. I'll show you busted. Oh, TV. Manners. Or at least a little tact. I taught you better than that. Thank you, Anu. <laughs> Jeez, fine. Point taken. But... Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. 